This is part two of how to build the Colossal Titan in Minecraft one to one scale. If you haven't seen part one, this is going to pick up right where that left off. So if you haven't seen that, there will be a link in the description so you can go click that to watch. And now let's, uh, let's continue. This is where we ended and we're going to go all the way up to this blue block up here. I'm not going to be doing really an intro because I already did that in part one. So there's no need to do it right now. And I'm going to record this assuming that you've just seen part one. So I'm not gonna mention a lot of the stuff, oops, that I normally would. body is where the sparks really start to get more common. And remember, if you don't want the sparks, uh, just replace them with some red block. again I will uh, grab some flinted steel fill up my inventory let's see where is there any more or is this just one right here all right there's the first layer done for this part Let's keep going. Building f the front is going to seem a little confusing, but uh, I promise in the end it'll all it'll all match and make sense. for a second there those were just temporary blocks can't forget the carpet it's kind of hard to notice unless you want there to be more sparks then I guess you could leave the carpet off but then you're gonna see a lot more of this orange which I would rather not see so that's why I'm gonna hide it Accidentally broke that. All right, there seems to be some sort of glitch with the red concrete. Whenever I place it for the first time in a while, it turns visible for a little bit. Probably something to do with the mod. Okay, I think that's it for that layer. Now let's move up. Top slab right there. And then something behind it, obviously. We don't want that hole showing.
Looks like we have steam connecting to the wall right there. And again, right here. Whoops. That was the wrong block. Ugh. Oh, this doesn't even exist. It's not even there. Ugh, I keep accidentally destroying things. Don't pay attention to that unless you accidentally destroy something too. Candle right there, also candle here. The arms are gonna start getting a bit bigger now. blocks to get that glass there and then a candle right here all right I think we're good that was an oak Stripped oak wood right there. Which, it, which is why it looks darker from the birch. In case you didn't realize that. What direction is this facing? There. Top slab. I'll do this arm. Wall goes right there. Candle here. I'll just leave that be. Looks like we've got a lot of candles here. There's some, and then some glass here. Any other candles in this area? Doesn't look like it. Okay, and there's some steam for the people that do you want to make that and now moving up a layer is that right yeah that's right some walls in the front that are, you're gonna start to see a pattern it's for the uh, for the six pack candle right here now we do the glass Oh, 
forgot to disarm. Got a candle down here, which is a bit farther away. And one more right here. All right, that's looking good. Let's move up. hear me clicking like that a lot like this that's me hitting the middle mouse button so I can automatically get something that I'm looking at and setting instead of having to look for it in the creative menu arms getting a bit bigger over here too uh, why is this open? I don't know why, but this is not supposed to be open like that. Which is a bit weird. Yep, it's closed right here. I guess that's just a mistake. So you're going to need an extra block for that if you're in survival. I think that's, oh, not quite all of it. There we go. Next layer, let's go. walls right there and some more sparks also all right let's do some glass now I think this is kind of at the point where it starts to get really uh, far out from the other like bulk of the build. If you don't want to go far out with it, then don't worry about that because uh, as I said in the first part, the steam is not going to be important. Is this lit? Oh, I guess I forgot to light that when I was making this the first time. All right, that looks good. Move it up.
handle here. Put the wrong block there. Got some brick stairs right there. A bit of an uncommon block for this. And apparently there's supposed to be something on the inside, but... That just happened to be there because I used World Edit to create the steam. So you don't have to put anything in it. Because there won't be any holes to show anything in there all right now I gotta look for any places I need to put candles can I put one on top of here no I gotta destroy it and then put it back okay moving on arms getting a bit bigger I'll put this steam here like that that's gonna be kind of the elbow uh, joint right here that's the back and this is the front another oak uh, stripped wood right there some more flint and steel it's getting kind of covered up I keep accidentally replacing it doing the other arm now that's what that looks like Block their cobweb there. Got another cobweb here. And then a candle on a candle. like that's it next layer up More brick stuff happening. Be careful to put that in the right direction. Looks like I've got two candles here. Another one right here. And some glass. Those were just temporary.
walls there, and then got this. Okay. Moving up a layer. Getting to the point where the this starts to uh, move out one block. To give it a bit more shape. in those spots also right here candle right there done <clears throat> now next layer the arm is going to start to connect now this block right there all right this is a gray we're gonna start using other colors now uh, because when when the steam gets like thicker when it's like directly coming out of them I think the spots are gonna be like right here and right here from the back uh, they're gonna have some darker colors like light gray and gray to give the look that the steam is kind of thicker in those spots to do the back got some candles there all right we're looking good
bottom steer right there. to a spot where the candles start to get really really common there's a lot more at the top than there is at the bottom and if you don't want to do them then you can just ignore this part because things like the candles and the smoke they are optional I know I've said it a lot before but in case anyone skipped over it, I'm just gonna remind you. All right, I'm gonna take a fly backwards here, and you can see how it's really starting to come along now. Much bigger than the armored over there. All right, next layer, let's go. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more uh, for part two and since this is going so fast I might actually do an, an extra layer because a lot of part three is going to be doing the steam which goes above the head and that's gonna take a while so you might not uh, want to watch that depending on if you decide to do the smoke exactly as I do it or not Got some gray uh, glass pane right there. Gotta fill in these. A lot of walls right here. Oops. I'm just rearranging the direction they're going. You don't need to worry about that. course the candles remove the flint and steel because it keeps slowly getting farther away I think I keep accidentally replacing it with something candle right here glass right there Candle right here. Glass here. All right, now we're looking good. One layer up. Got a stair right there, which is uh, upside down. And then polished granite right there. Which is kind of a mix between the red and the yellow. Yellowish white color.
two candles in a row. Here's the point where one of the thick uh, spots of steam starts to come in. So it's gonna be kind of dark with the gray and the light gray. Uh, but if you want it to be lighter, you can just use white. It'll quickly turn into mostly just white steam because that's how it looks. Okay. Ah, it keeps getting replaced. pain right there candle right there and I think that's it next layer let's go Placed a few uh, mistake blocks right there. It's hard to tell what direction some of these go. That one is supposed to be lit. do the steam on the back. Might be a bit hard to follow, uh, but just rewind and you'll eventually get it. people requested enough I could make a world download so you can check out this design for yourself but I might have to get permission from nav9 because this originally was their design I just made some or actually a lot of modifications to it so I don't know we'll see moving up a layer Let's start in the front. Looks like the red concrete's glitching out again. Let's 
let's do some of this uh, temporary blocks temporary blocks I'll just leave that be. That's supposed to be lit. Oops. Alright, there's a spark right there. Some steam. That's it for this layer. going around the body in sort of an oval shape now. Uh, I'm going to put a sign there. There should actually be a, a candle apparently, but I'd rather there be a sign there. If you want, you can use more of these magma blocks for the sparks instead of just the shroom light. It kind of blends in with the uh, nylium, or no, hyphae, and uh, and also this. So, as sort of an in between, you can use the magma block. I only used it once, I think. It didn't look good when there was a whole lot of it, but you know, try out what you want. glass there, some glass here, candle here, moving up, Gonna get some more of this. All right, continuing with the body. This is sort of like the upper arm shoulder part. The 
with a candle, some more glass. Light that. And it looks like we got another candle here. That's how you make two in a row. If you're kind of confused because you can't place a candle on a candle. All right, let's uh, actually do two more layers. I marked it as one, but let's go up a bit. This build is coming along faster than I thought, but that could just be because uh, I'm able to grab any block that I want. Whoops, place that first, then the signs. Uh, I can grab any block I want without going into a menu. Glass there. Got some candles here. Whatever, I'll just, I'll just deal with that. This chunk of steam is starting to build up. Looks like we still got a few more candles to place here. That one there. That one there. And I think that might be it for the candles. Let's do one more layer for this part two, and then we will move on to part three. Even though the videos are shorter than I thought they would be, I'd still rather not do one whole long video with the entire thing. And I'd rather split up some of the recording too. Okay, let's just use the bone block. This is where we start to get to the, I guess, the weak spot, the nape. Uh, and that'll eventually go into the head. And the head uses some bone blocks also. I'm gonna place a sign there instead of a candle. Carpet goes there. If there's any spots that have a exposed top, go ahead and place a carpet there. I think it would look better. Uh, it's just hard to notice. So I might accidentally mess it. Now for the glass.
All right, right there, right there, right there. Great pains right there. And then we just got a random white lock right there. Let's go around and check. Yep. Everything's looking good. So, uh, if you take a step back, there it is. It's almost done. Now we got to do sort of like the top of the body where it eventually uh, forms into the head. And then we've got some steam to do after that, which is coming off. If you don't want to do that, then you can just be done at that. All right, let's move on to part three now.